But I'm sure by now, all of you are aware that Woodmo are the all-in expert when it comes to spare parts. And the best point is that they have the spare parts for all vehicles available in India. So even if your car is out of production now, maybe you have a large generation model, even then they have the spare part available, they have the entire catalogue. And the best point is that uh, they have the same spare part from a host of different component makers which gives you great flexibility in the pricing overall. So check them out today, check out the app, it's available both for iOS as well as Android devices and also check out the website for the latest schemes as well as offers. So hey guys, welcome back to Auto Portal and today we have the Tata Tiago EV with us. We will be talking in depth about its features, comfort related aspects as well as the technical specifications because that definitely holds a lot of value owing to the affordable price tag that Tata Motors has launched it at. The Tiago EV has been launched at 8.49 lakh rupees X showroom for the base XE trim. So do stay tuned till the end of the video. We'll be talking in depth about its features, space, comfort, as well as specifications, because this product is not only essential for Tata Motors, but will strengthen the fundamentals of the electric vehicle industry owing to the affordability that it offers. Beginning straight with the key fob. This key fob has been seen on other Tata products as well, so nothing different over here. But in terms of buttons, you get a button to lock, unlock, Folmium headlamps as well as access the boot. Please note that there's no electric tailgate release of any sort, but you can definitely unlock the boot using this button. If we now have a look at the frontal appeal, this will remind you of the Tigor EV in many aspects. So yes, you get a halogen based headlamp, but this is a projector. Apart from that, all other elements are halogen bulb based including the indicator as well as the parking lamp. The humanity line has been tweaked with this aquamarine type shade which does hint at the electrified version of the Tiago which this is. You will be seeing this dot EV brand nomenclature which Tata Motors has introduced new so this is a rather quirky touch. You will be seeing a lot of tri arrow elements on the frontal fascia as well. The car overall looks extremely imposing owing to this sharp nose that it gets. The lower bumper again features a lot of tri arrow elements and the fog lamp is halogen based which also features this blue insert along with the LED DRL. In terms of technical specifications, the Tiago EV has been launched in a short range and long range format. The short range format comes with a claimed range of 250 kilometers, while the long range comes with a claimed range of 315 kilometers. If we come to the power outputs, the long range has been powered with a 24 kilowatt hour battery that churns out about 114 newton meters of torque and 55 kilowatt of power. If we come to the short range version now, that churns out not very low 110 newton meters of torque alongside 45 kilowatt of power now if we move on to the side profile the tiago ev gets an unladed ground clearance of about 166 millimeters and what tata motors has claimed is that they have made alterations to the suspension setup as well as the braking unit in order to incorporate the extra weight of the split battery pack that this gets this again is based on the Tiago and Tigor's platform itself. So it carries on its legacy of a four star global end cap rating. So definitely no doubts in terms of its structural integrity. If we have a look at the tire size now. The exact dimensions happen to be 175-65 R14. These are 14 inch steel rims. Now you get steel rims here for a reason because that helps in increasing the efficiency due to better weight management. You get the DOT EV badging on the fender here again which is a new nomenclature opted by Tata Motors. The ORVMs and this top of the line variant are piano black so you get a dual tone combination which can be opted as an optional pack. These are indicators, the LED indicator strips on the ORVMs itself. You get a request sensor on the driver's side, but unfortunately you don't get it on the passenger end. So this is where the major stuff happens. You will have to insert the charging dock into this socket and you have four different ways to charge the Tiago EV which we'll talk about in detail in our detailed drive review. The interiors of the Tiago have been 
finished in this ivory and black dual tone combination which actually opens up a lot of space because of the light color tones that have been opted these are leatherette seats which actually offer great attention to detail and you will be seeing those tri arrow elements over here as well the seat can be adjusted for height as well so you get that option these are manual adjustments of course but you definitely get this option which is a nice touch apart from that the door pad again carries on that dual tone plastic finish along with the power window switches and a chrome based door handle these are the controls for the outside rear view mirrors and you will be noticing the speaker placement over here while the tweeters for the front passengers have been mounted on the a pillars let's ingress into the car now and talk about the kind of features that this electrified version of the tiago offers so here we are in the interiors of the Tiago EV. Let's first begin with the steering wheel itself. So this is similar to the ones that we have seen across the Tata lineup. It's a flat bottom unit and this top of the line variant gets leather wrapped finishing which feels very premium. If we come to the controls that have been offered, on the left you get convention controls for your 7 inch infotainment system which we'll be coming to in a bit but uh, you get controls for increasing the volume, decreasing the volume, changing tracks, voice command and accepting and declining calls. You can also access the horn pad from the corners of the steering wheel which in my opinion is a very very practical touch to use in daily life. On the right hand side you get controls for cruise control and yes the Tiago EV is extremely feature loaded and you'll be surprised to know that this is more feature loaded as compared to its elder sibling which is the Tigor EV which is the sedan version of the Tiago but yeah this being a new product will get a higher number of features which the Tigor will subsequently get in the form of updates. The steering wheel is definitely adjustable so you get manual adjustment but only for tilt not for telescopic. On the left hand side you get controls for your wipers you get rain sensing wipers on this particular trim as well as the headlamp toggle which is visible on the right hand side and you do get automatic headlamps on the top of the line variant over here. If you want to adjust the headlamp beam you will be able to do that with this integrated button on the right stock itself. Now if we come to the multi information display this being a complete electric vehicle will display the battery percentage along with the regen level so you will be able to adjust the regen levels with these buttons you get four regen levels ranging from zero to three so you will be able to adjust the intensity of the regenerative braking and this mid is similar to the one that we have seen on other evs from tata motors itself so you will be able to toggle through this using these stocks and you will be able to see all the essential information about the vehicle including the trip information etc. To the center console now. This here is the 7 inch infotainment system that we have seen in the Tiago earlier as well. This is not very different from the ICE Tiago. You get Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay and this is equipped with 8 speakers which includes 4 tweeters and 4 speakers which offers excellent audio quality. These are of course powered by Harman and the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are wired. You don't get any kind of wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This is decently slick to use. It does occasionally hang but yes, the touch response is decent. In terms of safety features, the Tiago EV has been equipped with 2 airbags, ABS with EBD and this also gets hill descent control as well as hill start assist. And yes, you also get a tire pressure monitoring system. Now the buttons here hold a lot of importance. Let's start with the two buttons on the corners. So these are to adjust the regeneration levels. So as and when you press the button, you will be able to increase the regeneration levels. So these are the buttons to control that. This is the controlling unit for the fog lamps. You can access the charging lid from here you can open it and you get the basic lock and unlock buttons for the boot and the doors over here itself. This piano black element has been complemented well with this blue insert which runs across the exteriors also. Now 
automatic climate control has been kept standard across all trims which is an excellent thing you get a usb socket as well as a 12 volt charging socket to charge your devices the storage spaces are decently practical i won't say that they're the most practical in terms of ergonomics but yes definitely you get decent amount of space on the center console itself now you won't be noticing any kind of gear knob you won't be noticing any stick because you get this rotary dial for changing the modes you, you get four modes neutral drive sport as well as reverse which is something that we've seen on the tigor ev as well you get two cup holders on the center console another 12 volt charging socket and a small cubby hole space to put in your small knickknacks if i access the glove box now tata motors really pays attention to their glove boxes and you get twin compartments you get a tablet holder along with a document holder on the lower end the irvm is unfortunately still manually dimming it could have been offered with auto dimming functionality considering the price tag of the top of the line trim this here is a vanity mirror for the co-driver and you don't get anything for the driver but there is definitely a ticket holder over here the orvms are electrically adjustable as well as retractable so you can use this toggle to fold the ORVMs. So these were the interiors of the Tata Tiago EV. Let's move to the rear seating space and let's talk about the amenities that have been offered over there. Before entering into the rear cabin, let's first have a look at the door pad. You get dual tone plastics, which definitely accentuate the overall experience of the interiors. You get a tweeter placement and a power window socket, along with a small cubby space in which you can place your small knickknacks. The speakers have been placed on the door pad itself and you get a bottle holder over here. The door handle has been finished in chrome and this definitely feels quite solid. Let's ingress into the cabin and see what kind of comfort that the Tiago EV offers you. So the front seat has been set to my height. My height is 5 feet 9.5 inches. And here you can have a look at the knee room. The knee room is decent. But the under thigh support is something that they could have worked on. Because that is slightly lacking for a person of my height as well. Otherwise in terms of overall width. You can seat two full size adults along with a small child of about 2-3 to three years. So yes this car is suited best for 4 adults in terms of overall space and comfort. But I would like to give full marks to Data Motors in terms of the seating upholstery. The leatherette upholstery that they've incorporated on the interiors. This ivory shade definitely can get dirty very fast but does open up a lot of space. Because it lends an airy factor to the interiors. You get a reading lamp which has to be shared between the two rows but the good thing here is that these are LED based. You get grab handles on either sides which is definitely a prerequisite at this price point. Apart from that you can definitely fold these seats. There is no rear AC vent unit but considering the overall compact dimensions that this car has you won't be needing uh, AC vents so that should not be a concern. You definitely get a small cubby space in which you can place a bottle of a decent size. The rear end of the Tiago EV does not look a lot different from the ICE version. So let's begin with the tail lamp cluster first. This is a completely halogen based tail lamp cluster. You get halogen elements for the brake lamp as well as the indicator as well as the reverse lamp unit itself. You get an integrated wiper and defogger unit which is definitely a good touch. You get the high mounted brake stop lamp but you don't get any particular spoiler. But these are a few piano black inserts that we have seen on the regular Tiago as well. Now you will be noticing the new brand nomenclature for the Tiago EV and this definitely looks really quirky. You get a request sensor to access the boot because this top of the line variant gets a push button start unit. Now if I access the boot, this opens up to 240 liter boot space without the partial shelf. This is something that you will be seeing on the top of the line trim only and you can fold the seats but these are bench folding seats. You don't get an option of 60-40 split ratio on even the top of the line trim. You will see the charging equipment placed in the boot space itself. You will notice that the boot floor is slightly risen. That is because of the split battery packs that have been incorporated and that will be an issue in terms of boot space because it will appear slightly compact as compared to the ICE version of the Tiago. 
This here is the reverse parking camera which has been concealed very well and uh, that's definitely a neat touch. You won't be seeing any reverse parking sensors because of the reverse parking camera that has been placed over here. This was the rear fascia of the Tiago EV. Do let us know how you like the aesthetics of this car. So guys, this was the walk around of the Tiago EV for you. Do let us know your opinions about the pricing as well as how you like the feature list of this electrified version of the Tiago. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the bell icon so that you keep getting our interesting updates from time to time. Thank you so much for watching this video.